Hey all, this is Zerus, and welcome back to XCOM. We've got ourselves this whole UFO thing. It's kind of weird. I don't like it so much, mainly because I got my gunner who's flying up there shot again. I feel like that's become a pattern that I don't want to keep repeating, but it keeps repeating, so... I don't know, there's some anger. There's some there's some anger issues I'm having right now with that, but it's alright. We still we know for a fact we still have some flow tours. What am I doing? I moved once. Lock it down. Moved once. We have some flow tours flotoring around, so we're gonna have to be careful of that. Very mindful. Also, before we run in for the uh, outsiders, because you know floaters suck. We don't like them. But let's get up to the uh, high flying gunner here, who took a little bit on the chin. Got a little chawed up there. Yup. Gonna have you land right about there. There you go. Touching down. Touched down. And now we're gonna get a little bit of happy juice up. Where is our happy juice missed? That puts us in a little bit better stead. No complaints. Uh, again, I'm not gonna rush for the meld here, because I don't need to. There is absolutely no no okay. reason for me to do that whatsoever. We're just gonna wait up, and if the floaters come in, great. If not, then we'll debate going up for the um, aye, aye. for the outsiders to lure the floaters in. But uh, until I have a good reason to do that, I'm not gonna move much. Like really, there's really nothing I want to do more than just kind of wait and bait them in. So we're gonna do that. Be smart with our units here. We can't rush anything anymore. This, the fights are dangerous. I mean, they've always been dangerous, but you know, this late in the game, one well placed, you know, heavy floater or Mutant Elite shot, and then people are dead, like we saw in the last episode, so we don't, can't really let that happen. I'm gonna try to avoid that happening as much as possible. Okay, so Leif is currently concealed, and we have eyes on the Outsider pack. Looks like there's definitely two little crystalline entities in there. So we'll need to be careful with how we move people, but we are gonna try for capture. That's kind of a no-brainer. We definitely wanna see if we can't grab ourselves one of these tasty, tasty little floating orbs of joy. This could be interesting, because right now what may happen is the floaters coming from this side, they reveal Leif, Outsiders, uh, activate, and then we have a problem. So let's just see what happens. I mean, I'm going to play this one kind of copacetic. Be smart about how we engage, and we'll see what happens after that. Leif, you're going to have to not overwatch. You're going to wait a turn. Oh, crap. So he got flanked from here. That would have been great to know. That's really not funny. So... That's really weird. At the end of the turn, that went off. Well, we dropped one. That's good. That's a start. He changed the position. All right. We'll be fine. Uh, we'll need to get our capture bot in there. Do we still have a command charge up or not? We do not. Okay, so this is going to get a little rougher. You look like one of those assholes are going to have CQC, don't you? Let's just double check here. Let us check here. You're flanked, really, okay. Uh, opportunist, neural damping, huh? <laughs> great. Ready for anything. Lightning reflex, CQC, yeah, he's got a lot of, ooh, boy. There's a big puppy right there. Hmm, all right. Does he count as EMPable? I don't know, that's a good question. He may count as EMPable. To find out. Hey, Honest Chewy, do you mind suppressing the crap out of this guy? I don't mind at all, sir. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear in that voice exactly. Oh yeah, just like that. All right, where is my sniper? Sniper. Hi, right, buddy. 100%, huh? That's pretty good. I hear that's a good aim these days. All right, run up here. Now we're gonna be very aggressive with this. The suppression stops. Uh, let's just see. Is there a heavy floater operative in the vicinity? Um, I'm doing this with Leif because if we get pitched to a bad position, we'll be all right. Yeah, I freaking knew it. I freaking knew it. Got six floaters, five of which are heavy. So, again, this is... That's what I expected to happen. Okay, so we're not going to bother even trying to capture this guy. We're just going to go in and kill. I kind of figured that was going to be the situation. Is that who I checked it that way? <laughs> I hate being right sometimes. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Probably got a War Master in there somewhere. I mean, heavy floaters suck. They're, they're not fun enemies to fight. But we have collateral, which is nice. We're going to use the collateral here to break open this. Leif is still going to be able to move, which is fine. And they'll be able to go ahead and chip this guy down like whoa. 
for some good shots. Leif's alright. Leif's gonna go probably just someplace safer, like this. Because he does have low profile, so that's probably what's gonna happen there. And we're gonna go chip this SOB down. But now we're definitely in like, okay, time to take a step back and uh, recharge kind of mode. Heading out. Except for, except for this guy's either. This guy's either with the big armor and the big gun. He's gonna be right there in the front line dropping bodies. Okay, so let's see. Leif, definitely pull back. Probably what's safest? I think this is actually safest, as weird as that sounds. Mm, that might not have been true. I may have put Leif in a worse position, worse position, but with the smoke, I think we'll be okay. How good is your smoke arm? Okay, easy enough to get it from there, so we'll definitely be able to get it from here. Give me a smoke right around there. Just in case they get a little, you know, shooty murdery happy. Remember, we still have our sniper up top, so it's going to be probably no problem killing this guy. And worst comes worst, we'll have a plank bob on the murder shot. Uh, you don't have in the zones. It doesn't matter when I take the shot with you, right? Yeah, you're still moving up to Master Sergeant territory. Okay. 19 crit. Girl has got it going on. Now, ideally, if we can get Krungle to kill this thing, we can get Sentinel up with Zyther. Or what's better? Do we get Sentinel up with Krungle? Krungle, do you have Deadeye? I don't think you have Deadeye. You just have ridiculously good aim. Okay. Mm, do I do the 10? Or do I do the Zyther? I say we do the do the Krungle. Zyther has... Yeah, the particle cannon, if it hits, man, that particle cannon is lethal. Alright, go ahead. Nice. Hoorah, indeed. So do that. Cover position. Sentinel. Here. And you've got Deadeye. So yeah, Zyther was the better choice there, no doubt. We can go ahead and shred some enemies here, because we know there's a bunch of them back here. We can probably get a decent shred off. The power source is already down, so I'm a little sad about that. I could also just do some serious damage to these guys and have them have a really bad day. Really, is the range that short? We not have javelins? Oh, Plank Bob's not a master sergeant. I'm like, where the hell's my javelins range? That would be why. All right, let's just start throwing heavy explosives then. No complaints. No complaints. I was wondering, like, why do I not have my javelins range? And that would be why. There are no javelins in this picture. One of these is not like the other one. This one is not javelin. Every day I'm javelin. Are we going to see? Coming out. Got the overwatch. Boop! You got booped. And the best part is, he's got another one where that came from. Glad I put a rocket on that guy. He was the first one to charge. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Love the suppression. They love that suppression, man. Heavy floater. What are you doing? Get a swing. She got the armor. She got the touch! Alright, so that's, this is not exactly a difficult problem to solve, honestly. Krungle, get up here. Give me suppression off of this guy. Are we going to just... Ping him to get rid of the suppression. Yeah, let's do that. Fuck it. Shoot him in the face. No more suppression. Natty, what do you have the shot on? That guy, 87. You can get a flank up if we get you over here, can't you? You can get him. Is the tree is not quite... How is that guy lined up, actually? Is it on the tree or is it slightly to the right? I think it's slightly to the right of the tree, actually. We can't get her over enough. All right, well, whatever. In that case, we'll just take a swing. 87. There we go. Get her some experience for the kills. Solid work, solid work. Is I there? Where's Leif? Leif, the man, the legend. Let's see. I mean, this is the guy who I didn't send in the capture party because could have gone badly. I want to see where they are. Leif's obviously going to be doing intel gathering jobs. Who's up still? Two heavy floaters and two floaters. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little concerned about leaving Leif here, mainly because I don't know where the other enemies are, so whatever. We're just going to go blow some holes in the cover. Hi. 57 on that. That, that could work, actually. We could, we could try some. Try a little something, something. We have double tap, so might as well burn some ammo out of this dragon. Nice shot, and he's shredded, no less. On worst comes to worst, we could ping him down with a nice shot from, uh, but we won't need it. She loves that dragon. Girl loves, girl knows her way around a giant gun. I'll give her that much. That's all sorts of fine, ain't you? All right, let's see. 
Uh huh. Well, we could go ahead and do what we're gonna do. Let's do what we're gonna do. Clear this cover off. Try to keep that computer up. If possible. Can we do that? Keep that computer up somehow? Like shoot this way? Yeah, there we go. Right here. Yeah. 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 Let me kill that guy. Then we'll pull Leif back again. Uh, we don't want him getting flanked, so. Remember, there will be approximately. Why? That, that was. That fusion projectile was having a game with the laws of physics right there. It was like, I'm gonna move and then stop and move and then stop and quantum uncertainty, bitches. Is what they were saying right there. 83. Uh, it could be worse, but it could be better. Zyther, how about you, friend? How good are you at this? What are you looking at? 93. Okay, I mean, between these guys, we should be able to handle this. You're a tad low on rounds, sugar. But she's gonna handle it. Mech's doing work, baby. Alright. So Zyther's gonna do the same thing. One Use for all for and cover. sentinel mode. Leif is gonna go into cover again. Uh, kind of the same as he was. It seems to be working for him. Melchior. We can go ahead and try for a capture on a heavy floater. Uh, they do have the standard rifles, so... It's worth a try. It's worth a try. We'll see if they come in. They usually don't charge up that close for a, for a cap. Oh no, we lost the mill. Whatever shall we do? It's fine. We'll take the opportunity to reload here. So we have two floaters up. They're highly mobile. Getting a ping on them is going to be hard. Getting a bead. So we're going to get the reloads easy off. We're going to get the overwatches and beyond visual range. Sugar needs to definitely reload. She's completely out. Uh, Leif's going to get us an overwatch. Bachaw is going to take a reload. Planks got planks got ready, Bob. Plank Bob is going to move up here, get us out steady for a little more range. Uh, Zyther, go ahead and give me the Sentinel still, because you have enough in the tank. And you, young lady, definitely need to. What the hell? I can't move here. There's a unit there. Am I still flying? I'm gonna make sure I don't glitch. Get that dragon fully reloaded, because that is a big old gun. All right. Where do you is at? I don't think we're alone out here. Hmm. I don't think we're alone out here either. Leif, would you please kinda confirm that we're not alone out here? Uh, let's see. I can go right there, and that's where we heard the sound from. Dutsuit. Huh. You know you rien. Alright, well... Okay, that's fine. If you want to play, play hide and seek, we'll play hide and seek. I'm really good at that game, except I play with mechs, you see. So when I see you, I tend to murder you. All right, but you all get up here. That's the nearest position that we know of, so we're gonna kind of head in that direction. Sugar, where are you? Go in. Oh, uh, you could take an angle from here, probably, and I'll be all right. Stomp, 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 stomp. Good times. Load that down, load that up, and we'll see what happens. Plank the Bob, get over here. Find that full cover that we know and love. Honest Chewy, kind of the same idea, get behind said full cover. That big old gun, Krungle. I don't mind, Krungle's tanky as hell, so we'll put Krungle over here, get us a nice, tasty bit of Overwatch. Should be good. Natty the Janitor. Come back up here and give us beyond visual range overwatch. Okay, and see what happens. I don't know. This, they're they're making me drag this mission out, which I'm not very keen on. They're definitely there. So. C'était quoi? C'était quoi? C'est le flotteur. What's up? Nice shot, Zidor. Nice shot. And he disappeared. He's freaking disappeared. And another one. They're, they're testing Zyther's. I was like, I like using my optics for guns and profit. God, he's on point today. He's on point today. He just needed a particle cannon. That boy just needed a particle cannon. Now he's kicking some ass. All right. Okay. Well, sometimes you just need a particle cannon. Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to think. Could we even get a potential panic on these guys from here? I don't know if we can. I don't know if I'm close enough. If I can flamethrow... That yeah, dude's in high ground, so I can't really get a flamethrower on. Yeah, I'm just like a two or three tiles shy. Who do you see? Oh, you don't see the heavy floater. Okay, well, it's not too bad. 
my idea is to try to try to get a capture here. So I'm gonna try to play with that in mind. Go ahead, just kill that guy. Kill a little floater that's gonna be in midair, preventing us from attempting to capture him. And then, if we're lucky, if we're lucky, we can go ahead and try to lock this guy down. Can we, do we have a suppression available on him? No, the angles are too weird. Krungle, does this cover? Does that give you eyes? It does, apparently. Great. I'm on the move. Long range suppression from Krungle? That's perfect. Hell yeah, lock you down. Suppressing fire on target. Thank you. All right, where is our daily capturer here? I think this is the last alien here, so we're gonna definitely go in for this capture if possible. Plank Bob's murder ability is not necessary right now, so we're gonna keep him steadied in case the thing somehow runs up on us. Zyther, I don't wanna freak him out by flanking him, so I might give him Zyther as a target. Kinda just get him here, get him sat and reloaded. And if he has repair servos, that actually might work to my advantage at this point. Running. These repair servos would permit me to uh, flamethrow him without a risk of him just absolutely dropping, because we can do six damage with a flamethrow, which is what I'm, which is exactly what I'm worried about. I don't want to risk that going badly on me. So you're not gonna actually overwatch, Leif. You're not gonna overwatch. We're gonna go ahead and just end the turn, I think. Leif can hunker, I guess, or get behind. Now you just hunker down, bro. You just end the turn. Okay, he went Overwatch, which is what I expected. So now we roll in. Krungle, get me the suppression. Ah, uh, Krungle might need to command. Do we have eyes with our other suppressor? We do not. Okay. Well, I don't mind the Overwatch so much. He doesn't have repair servos. So this could be a kill, courtesy of um, the flamethrower. But we're going to do the best we can. We'll, we'll purge the Overwatch off with armor, because we can. Again, don't really care. He doesn't have heat ammo, so... Even if we got hit, that would have been max six damage probably with the DR from this close, so that's fine. All right, please don't kill him. Please just panic him. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so he's panicked officially. Good. Okay, that all worked out beautifully. So Bercia is here. We can get another plasma cannon out of this if we're lucky. Let's go ahead and do it. Uh, right there is probably fine. Should I do a little zappy zappy? Got him. Got him. All right. Sacred Thorn. We did nail it that time. We finally got a capture out of something. That Muton didn't want to come along with us. This heavy floater seemed to be more amenable. So awesome. We have another rifle, which allows us to get another plasma cannon, which is kind of what I'm immediately going to start An doing here. Well, thank you, Vaughn. Ah, more meld. And we finally got javelins on Plank Bob. Sick. Another Master Sergeant for the crew. I like it. We got an alien rifle, four meld. Oh, is this meld? I mean, those two melds we got. Yeah, okay, whatever. Some damaged items here we can sell. Uh, let's get over here. One, two, and one. Done. All right, good. What request do we have? You have power sword now, a chance in hell. The meld! Oh, 375, 50 meld. Yeah, like I said, eee, I don't know. I don't know, really. What's the A supply looking like right now? Let's take a look. Tech level 21, which is kind of what they've been sitting. I'm sitting at 2021. It's not bad. A resources, 47. Nice and low. That's how I like to see it. We've been we've been beating them up in in uh, in the air war a little bit. So it's been pretty good. How much do I need for another plasma cannon? I really should have memorized this amount by heart by now. But all right, 264. I need 18 credits. Okay, that's easy enough. For like a mechtoid core or something. Where are our mechtoid bodies at? There we go. There we go. Done. Let's just bring it down to even 30. Strange numbers bother me. I mean, 35 isn't exactly like a bad, not round number, but you know what I mean. You know what you mean, man. All right, let's go ahead and get the plasma cannon up here. Thank you. More of these I have, the merrier, honestly. I'm not going to stop. Can't stop, dig to the shin, dig. And we can't do any more firestorms, so that's kind of right out. Okay. So how is our last set of firestorms coming? Nine days, nine days, nine days. And then Commander Pasha's gonna have a plasma cannon in North America and we'll be a little better off. We're gonna need that though, if we're gonna try to interdict the terror mission that's gonna hit Canada, because Canada's gonna leave if we lose them. Then our monthly income is shot to shit. That's gonna be an issue. Uh, because of that battleship bombing run, we really couldn't do anything. We just got 10 day repair on our, on our firestorm for our trouble, which really, really sucked. All right, but otherwise, Panic's doing okay. Okay, anyway. 
aim. Wait a minute, do I have a. I, I just don't remember. So, there's a couple days or number of days between all these episodes, and I'm trying to think. Do I have. Oh, it's easier to look at the hangar, probably. Do we have another plasma cannon that we can kit someone out in? Or no? Are we out? No, we have two plasma cannons we can kit people out in. Right, okay. So, so we have two extra plasma cannons. Dully noted. We're also building another one in approximately... How many days? In... Damn it, engineering. In eight days. Okay. So that'll build before my firestorms are ready. So I can definitely get one plasma cannon up on a pretty senior uh, standard interceptor. that I'm confident won't get pulled off to run the firestorms. So we're going to lose two people to the firestorms. So the lieutenant's got two kills. That's not going to be an issue. I got, sorry, i got to plan this out because it's kind of the whole strategic layer thing. FOs definitely won't. Commander Poacher. Uh, doesn't matter. FOs definitely won't. The next highest ranks that we have, probably the majors here. you got six kills. You've got six kills. You've got two kills. So probably Tar Heel and Panzer are the ones that are going to go out. And where's Major Joker here? How many kills do you have? You have six kills. So actually I'm not sure which one of these are going to go. So I could probably put one of the plasma cannons on one of the LTs. And that should be fine. Asia's not a priority. What about Europe? Do we have an LT in Europe? We don't. We just have FOs in Europe. Okay, that kind of blows. But we do have another plasma cannon here on the captain, which is going to go into an FO unfortunately. So we're going to need to shift that one around too at some point. But not right now. All right, I'm just going to put on an LT in Asia then. Fine, put one of these up. We can do that. Okay, cool. All right. Sorry, that took a little bit of planning, but that's kind of how it goes sometimes. All right, let's go. Time training, what we got? Ah, oh, Nova! Success. Success. All right. So who do we plug in here? With an eye toward, again, the final mission staffing. Uh, let's see. We put J-Ray in there. Is anyone else more priority than J-Ray right now? I don't think there is at this point. Is it Ash? Hold on. Isn't Ash the one that I want to take? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, oh, it's so difficult. Uh, I need to see Ash's ability build. Rapid Fire, Shred, and Hollow. This is what I want. This is one of the gunners I want to take. Okay, so we're definitely going to plug her in as a priority. Scilabs. Ash, where are you? There you go. Get me Science Spire. Done. Alright, cool. And what else we got? Side training. Cherry leveled up. Freaking marvelous. Good job, Cherry. So now is a bigger question. Do we have anyone <laughs> more important than J-Ray to do this? Let's see. Knupst. Kasai no. Said no. We're going to need a... No, I think that's pretty much the majority of folks that I want to level up as a priority because of the final mission. So, all right, let's go from the top. Who could be more useful here? Uh, Shadow Beave or Mammy having another ability? Mammy having another ability would be great. He has hit and run, so he can go ahead, hit and run, unscrew someone's head, and then have them take a shot as well. I think that would be a good investment of my time. All right, cool. Onward, then. Contact. Okay, Terrorize Populous. Assault Carrier in Mexico. Can we interdict it? Four hours! Son of a... Bump! Ah, oh, four hours off. Oh, I don't think we can do this well. I don't think we can do this well. well let's send up a high. Say what's up. I don't think we'll be able to stop this one. And that's frustrating, because we went after the battleship trying to shoot down the Canadian thing. We eyes on the bandit. We're going to get out. We lost the bubble. Okay, that's a big old ship. If it's got a fusion power thing, too, then we got to be careful. Contact Two hours. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this properly. Jeez. Well, it's gonna send, I'm going to send this guy back up. because It burns about two hours, so that way I can do it safely without overshooting. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to go ahead and land like in a second here. Bangs out. I'm literally like an hour off no of getting here. this thing down, I think. Yeah, look at that crap. Ah! All right, that's, that's annoying because they're doing this cleverly because they know the Canada's at the breaking point, so... Oh, we're going to have to do a Canadian mission, aren't we? How many saddies do we have? We have one available. That's fine. Do we have a skeleton key available? We do. Good. We're going to have to go to North America again. God, what a pain in my ass. 
Oh, off by an hour. I'm, I'm really frustrated right now. I'm very pissed right now. Okay. Okay, let's staff out the crew for the terror mission because God knows we love these freaking things. When I see the African ship coming around, though, that shit's going down. We have a fusion interceptor. Do we have fusion interceptor available? I think we do over Africa. Yeah, we have fusion lance and plasma cannon. That shit is not going in. It's not going to land. We're going to drop that fucker. Um, yeah. All right. Grrr, arr. All right, let's go. Let's take down, take down the, the demon of Chihuahua. That sounds funny, but you know what I mean. Well, Nova got back up, so let's get her... Psy power on. Where is Tony Blah? We go here. Uh, what kind of mechs are we rolling? We're gonna roll out a Pathfinder, kind of a no-brainer. We're gonna roll out an Archer, also kind of a no-brainer. Uh, we're not going for captures, so we're definitely gonna go with a Rocketeer. J-Ray being the most senior operative currently available is gonna do that for us. Glad we didn't put him in the Psy tank for that reason. Uh, we're gonna need a Medic. And we're going to need an NG. What kind of class are we? No, no, sorry. We're not taking an NG because we're taking an archer. So we're going to go take a support medic. Like half asleep here. Uh, we're going to take Erbebo, I think. Or Vengeful one. What, Erbebo, you're pretty damn close to Master Sergeant, aren't you? But I would like another gunnery sergeant here. What are your abilities like? Not Tariq. God damn it. I hate misclicking. i got to find my medics all over again. All right, here we go. Uh, Vengeful one. Do you have a specialty on your... You have combat drugs already. Oh, okay. What was the other thing on here? Lock and load, bombard, or sprinter. Oh, this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, totally fine. We'll take ventral. And all I need is basically a specialty of combat drugs, and that's okay. All right, good. We need a sniper now. So, where's Wolf? Wolf, are you in a side tank? Or are you... No, you're getting you're getting uh, space marine, aren't you? What kind of map is this? One or more structures of waterfront bounded by water. Okay, this is either... This is probably the large warehouse map, or it's the one with all the shipping containers, which is a pretty long map, and uh, those little barges and stuff. So I'm going to take, I think, a sniper that can hit long range easily. So it's either going to be Hank or Cherry. Let's take Hank out. I mean, Cherry's been just overachieving. You know what? Let's take Cherry out. She's been overachieving like crazy, so let's just keep her doing that. And last but not least, we need a gunner. Dorn's going to command this one up because he can. Okay. Perfecta match. Let's lock it in. Lock it down. Titan armor. Let's go. We don't have an infantry, so we can give her the heavy plasma. All right. Don't make me regret this, Nova. Like, seriously, don't make me regret this. I'm always, every time I do that, I'm like, that 5% is going to cost me. And last time it kind of did, but I'm I'm a glutton for punishment, let's just say. Where the hell is it? There we go. Chameleon suit and chitin plate. Where is that? Thank you. All right, assault again. Pretty standard loadout here. No surprises. Uh, we're at reflex cannon. Where is the plasma pistol? We're gonna need impact, breaching, and some tasty. Where's that kite? There we go. Good. All right, pathfinder loadout. Where's the Vindy? Vin. Damn it, Vindy. Particle and the close range stuff. I think. Solid. And then the usual carbide, core, and BC. There we go. That battle computer is worth its weight in gold, though, honestly. It does so much for our mechs. It's a great item. I highly recommend it. It is so choice. Get freaking. Get the. And there we go. There we go. I feel like one of those madmen from darkest dungeon which is another one of our series check it out no i'm gonna stop talking but seriously like, -da 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 -da! you know when i don't know what to say i kind of just start making random noises kind of what they do on a regular basis so you know there is some similarity there i will admit gunner dorn let's load out the big weapon first that you're gonna take the nova gun because my guess is that's gonna be more useful in these close quarters uh, illuminator for that walkers and ap I have enough power. I'm just afraid of Dorn's health. The dude's got 17 movement with a Nova gun. How messed up is that? Dorn is a freaking animal, man. Look at that. A gunner a gunner with 15 movement with a... Ah, Dorn, you're just an amazing, amazing, amazing man. Let me say it that way. Oh, my God. All right, let's get... Uh, where's the proper rifle? Do we not make items available? I'm pretty sure we did. There it is. Uh, sidearm for the mauler. Your movement, I know, is going to suck, but... Shh. In case you get caught up, I want you to be able to crush stuff. And not walkers, not that. Where's that stellarator? Where my stellarator at? There we go. Good. So he's got nine moves, but she can fly, so that makes things easier for cover. 
All right, bro. Titan armor, carbine, which has been standard medic issue. Because the rifle with 76 aim at this stage of the game, you're not going to hit a damn thing. So, I mean, you could argue I should be taking it, but yeah, no, no, no. No, 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 no. All right, cool. So, the crew is set. Here comes the net, and I will see you all next time on XCOM as we take on yet another cheerful terror mission. Oh, joy. Till next time, till then.